we arrived yesterday here in Madeira and we're doing our first trek so it's gonna be a very relaxed trek um, next to a levada as you can see here 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 you can see Lee <laughs> yeah it's just uh, like a two hours trek not much of a change of altitude just to see a little bit around the island and to move a little bit it's called Levada do Alecrim. I think it means Levada of Rosemary. I don't know why. Maybe we will see Rosemary on the road. Hi and welcome everyone to this week's video. Uh, we will stay now for two weeks in Madeira. We will be here with my complete family and we will show you around in this first episode. Levadas are irrigation channels that you can find all around the island of Madeira. They serve to bring water from wetter regions of the island to the drier regions usually found in the south. because we're picking up my brother and his girlfriend from the airport and we just stopped by a nice beach it's called Santa Cruz uh, right next to the airport so that we could see the, the sun nice. rise <laughs> the sunrise <laughs> exactly and it's beautiful I mean look at all of this it's super green and we could see the sunrise very well now it's behind the clouds but we're very happy that we we were lucky and could see something. La isla me encanta. So good morning everyone, it's now I think around 8 o'clock in the morning, we had to get up at 4.30 in the morning because we wanted to do the most famous hike of Madeira, which is actually from Pico Ariero to Pico Ruivo, but we decided to do it the way around um, and we started at Pico Ruivo, so we had to hike up first uh, like one hour and ha one and a half hours uh, in the dark because we wanted to see the sunrise from the Pico Ruivo there were a lot of people already but I think it's still fine it was a very nice experience so far and now we're gonna take you with us on the hike
so we first went here and now we're gonna go to Pico Ariero. have to walk like 2.5 kilometers and since we chose to go the other way around so we started at Pico Ruivo and now we're going to Pico Arriero there were not so many people on our um, peak but on the other one so there were like masses of people coming and we were just waiting while we were having our breakfast and now we're lucky there's not so many people anymore so if you have the chance i would really recommend you to go and take the other way around and maybe not go on a holiday unfortunately today is a holiday um and it's there's no wind so we checked the weather forecast and there was no wind so i think this is because a lot of people are here today but still it's a very nice hike and we're in a good mood and we're happy that we're making it and I hope that you will like our, our shots as well Super nice here How are you? Good, it's pretty hot So we arrived, almost arrived at the top. It was a tough hike for a Instagram versus reality. <laughs> Today we went to the Fanal, which is like the fairy forest of Madeira. It is very famous due to Instagram because there are a lot of cows everywhere and because of the trees that especially when it's a little bit misty and foggy, it looks very mysterious. It's nice to come to see. It looks a little bit like the region in Germany of Algoy because there's also a lot of cows everywhere. Um, but I think it's a little bit overhyped. Um, but still, I think it's it's nice to come, stop by for a few minutes, have an hour, walk around a little bit, and that's it. The infrastructure in Madeira is really good so there's tunnels all over the island and there's even one tunnel that is crossing from the so south to the north and um, so there is no going up and down the hill all the time and it's very easy to move on the island. The engineering is really amazing it, the island is like a Swiss cheese. Cut. Porto Moniz 
is a really charming town in the north of the island, surrounded by cliffs, Laurisilva forest, and it has really cool natural swimming pool. And I think the entrance was be between 3 or 5 euros, so it is actually a pretty affordable plan for the day. Just keep in mind that in the north, usually the weather is not as stable as in the south. One afternoon we went to see Asiadas da Cruz, which is a little village located on the west of the island. It has one of the steepest cable cars in Europe and it's really cool to take a ride. It costs only 5 euros, if I'm not wrong. And everywhere here you can see the signs that you should not cross. It's just a bit. <laughs> Because it says that it's dangerous, we should not pass because the cliffs might just break apart. And I think it's like, I don't know, 10 people that live down here. So I'm not sure whether they actually built this cable car for... Focus statistics! <laughs> for the people that live here or for the tourists. But it's beautiful. So you see the high cliff, it's around 450 meters, so some people they actually come and walk down and then they want to drive up again or some people want to walk uh, up and drive down at the first place. Yeah, so this could be also a very nice hike for someone who's interested in this. So this is it for this episode and for this week's video. Um, we really hope that you enjoyed the video, the first video about Madeira because we had a really good time there and we were staying in Madeira for two weeks. So of course we have lots of footage. That means that we will have at least one more video for you about Madeira. So if you enjoyed it, that we hope that you did, please give us a thumbs up, um, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. Yes, and please follow us also on Instagram. And if you have any feedback, please provide it in the comments so that we know what you actually like, what you don't like so much, so we can improve our videos as well. And we see you next Sunday. See you next week. Bye-bye.